Carpe Seuss. I went hog hunting down in Bosque County, Texas. I arrived a little bit early, so I was testing out a new daylight spotting scope from Sig Sauer and just happened to spot some hogs out in this field. You can't see them very well from the cell phone picture. Here's the zoomed in image, and there are the hogs that you can see about 300 yards. They're pretty uh, well disguised in the high oats. This is video I took on the following day of me walking through the oats when I was looking for the hogs that I had shot. As you can see, the oats make a lot of noise, which makes the stalk fairly difficult, even when you're going slowly. Because of the noise of the oaks in the wind direction, I had to make a large arc to stalk around to get behind the hogs. The problem was, as I was going around, the hogs would disappear from view because of changes in the landscape and the height of the oats relative to the height of the hogs. They would come and go from view. At times I couldn't see any of them. Sometimes I could see four or five. As it was daylight, I could see the hogs with my naked eye, so as I was making my approach, whenever I'd see one stick its head up above the oats, I would duck down into the oats and try to hide for a minute or two before continuing my stalk towards them. This process seemed to work fairly well, and when I got close enough to get set up for a shot, I picked out the one hog that was showing itself, got on the sticks, and waited for the opportunity to shoot. and then several other hogs appeared. And I hit that one. And I may have also hit this shot as well. I didn't find any hogs that night, but on the following day I did find the first hog that I shot. Interesting shot, entered the forehead, part of the um, bullet actually exited out of the side of the hog, well back on the body. The second shot I made towards this hog was unnecessary as the first shot certainly did its job. The second shot actually sailed over the hog as it toppled over to the side. Later that night, my regular scans of the field revealed the deer that stayed in the field for about an hour. Sometimes its head would be up, sometimes its head would be down. Then after a while I noticed um, that the deer seemed to be keeping its head down. Well, the deer disappeared and had been replaced by this hog. This is the image from about 400 yards away as seen from the truck. I made a similar stalk as earlier, stopping every so often to check where the hog is, seeing how close I could get, playing the wind, and trying to keep my noise down as much as possible. As it was dark and the wind was in my favor, I thought I could get a lot closer. Turns out I was wrong, and I ended up spooking the hog. He took off and ran. Fortunately, he stopped and turned around to take a look at what was making the noise. And down he went. and then he was up again on the move. I lost him in the oats and then saw him stick up his feet right there and that's where he ended up being found the next day. This boar was a little bit bigger. A shot entered just below the chin and did not appear to exit anywhere. Here's a close-up of the entry wound. In total he ran about 20 to 30 yards. While this oats field is a magnet for attracting hogs, I'd forgotten about the difficulties in both pursuing the hogs and then recovering the hogs after the hunt. Even so, it's quite exciting to hunt in the oats. You never know what you're going to find. Carpe sus, my friends.